In this video, I'm going to show you how to write a blog post with ChatGPT. And this is the exact blog post I'll be showing you how to write using ChatGPT. And the website I'll be adding it to is myrominds.com. Hello guys, this is Swadik here at Digo Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's jump into the video. To get started, head over to your browser and enter chat.openai.com and it will bring you to this interface. If you don't have an account yet on ChatGPT, you'll be required to sign up. I already have an account on ChatGPT. Also, if you are a complete beginner to ChatGPT, I'll leave a video link to it in the description down below. You can go ahead and check it out. At the left hand side, you see content I've already generated using ChatGPT. And to get started with a new content, you make sure you click on new chat and it will bring you to this very interface. And this is where you command chat GPT as to whichever content you want it to generate for you. In this case, I'm going to write a blog post, but I don't have the title of the post I want to write. Meanwhile, I have the keywords I want to be included in my blog post title. So the first thing I'm going to do is generate a title for my blog post. To do that, I'm going to go ahead and enter this prompt that is suggest 10 SEO friendly blog titles for the keyword frugal living. So the blog post I'm going to be writing using ChatGPT is going to be based on this keyword that is frugal living. After entering my prompt, I hit enter key on the keyboard and ChatGPT will begin to generate the blog post titles for me. So here are the 10 blog post titles ChatGPT has suggested based on the keyword frugal living. So all you need to do is look through the 10 blog post titles and choose the particular one you want to use for your blog post. For this demonstration, I'm going to use the very first title that is the ultimate guide to frugal living tips and tricks. So what I can do is go ahead and copy it. And the next thing I'm going to do is ask ChatGPT to generate a blog post outline based on the title I've selected. So the prompt is going to look like this. Generate an SEO friendly blog post outline on the title this. And I'll go ahead and hit enter. And ChatGPT will generate the blog post outline for me. And right here, I have my blog post outline. So it has divided everything into chapters. And under each chapter, we have subheadings. And this is good for a blog post that can rank better in search engines. So all what you need to do is look through and choose those you want to use and neglect those you don't want to use. And looking through everything, I think I want to use all of them in my blog post. So the next thing I'm going to do is write on introduction. What I'm going to do is ask ChatGPT to write an introductory paragraph on my selected topic. So I enter in my prompt right here. So the prompt is like this, write an introductory paragraph on my selected topic. Make sure to include the keyword frugal living. Then I hit enter key on the keyboard. Let's see it in action. I have my introductory paragraph right here. But reading through, I'm not going to pick all of them. I'm only going to start from here. In an age where managing expenses and building a secure financial future is more crucial than ever up to the end. So I'll highlight to this level and I'll go ahead and copy it. I'll go ahead and paste it in my word editor. So I drop down the arrow under the paste icon. Then I'll go ahead and select merge formatting. I can provide paragraphs from here and then here. Perfect. What I can also do is include the title on top right here. Perfect. Going back to chat GPT, what I can do is go ahead and add the outline I've generated from chat GPT. So I'll start from here and right click copy. Then I go ahead and paste it in here. So I already have the introduction. I'll take it off. Then I put it in here. It doesn't really matter if you don't need introduction. You can just go ahead and take it off. So I have mine on top. Next is this subheading. I copy it. Going back to chat GPT. Then I enter in my prompt. I can say expand. Then I go ahead and paste in the copy text. Then I add to 50 ways. So I want to expand this particular subheading to 50 ways. I hit enter. Let's see it in action. It has given me the text. 
so what i simply do is go ahead and copy it i don't actually need the letter a so i'll take it off and i go ahead and enter in my text perfect if you are finding value so far please give this video a thumbs up it does help me out so that the video will be suggested to more people on youtube and also benefit more people all right let's continue one thing i can also do is start adding header tags for my headings so introduction i'll just click on it and i'm going to use heading one then brief explanation of frugal living will also be heading two looking at the outline of my blog post i want to alternate them a bit since i have benefits of frugal living here i don't need the importance of adopting a frugal lifestyle and then the purpose of the blog post i'll just take them off so now i'm going to expand these headings i'll start with understanding frugal living i just copy it going back to chat gpt i ask chat gpt to expand it i'll just expand it to 50 ways so take note you can expand it to whatever number of ways you want hit enter perfect i can just click on this icon to copy it to my clipboard then going back to my word editor i go ahead and paste it in like this maybe i want to make it more readable by breaking it down into two paragraphs i apply heading two tag to my title right here what i can also do is take brief explanation of frugal living and drop it under the understanding of frugal living like this meanwhile the heading tag 2 i'm going to change it to heading tag 3. next i'll go ahead and expand this i'll just copy it going back to chat gpt expand i paste it in then 250 ways hit enter i have it generated i'll simply copy it then I go back to my web editor, press enter, and I go ahead and paste it in. Since you have gotten the concept, I'll simply go ahead and expand the rest of the headings pretty quick and get back to you. All right, I've generated enough content. Next thing I want to do is add a conclusion to my blog post. And I'm going to ask ChatGPT to do that for me. So going back to ChatGPT, I will say, write a blog post conclusion on the title i go ahead and paste in my title then i hit enter i'll just read through and pick the portion i want i don't really need the last paragraph so what i do is start from here to this very end i go ahead and copy it then i paste it in my word editor like this one last thing i want to do is add a meta description for my blog post so i'll say generate an seo meta description for the above blog post hit enter and here you need to make sure that the keyword is included so I'll just go ahead and copy it and I paste it in my word editor. I'll just give it the title meta description. Perfect. So now I can add my blog post to my website. I can easily go ahead and select all, copy it. I go over to my website. Take note, I'm using WordPress. So I hover on new upon login and I go ahead and click on post in here i just go ahead and paste in my content and by default the title will place as its position and down here i have the rest of the content what i can also do is scroll to the end remember i added the meta description i'll just select it and i cut it off i don't also need this title here i go over to post going down i paste in my meta description here going up the category is going to be under personal finance the tax i'll add new tax frugal living hit enter this article can also fall under managing money i don't have a featured image yet and i'm going to use pexels to get my featured image 
pexos.com is a website where you can get royalty free images for your blog post. I'm going to search for frugal living. Hit enter. I will go ahead and open this app. So to save this image, I click on the drop down arrow right here. You can use whatever size you want from here. For this, I'm going to use a custom dimension. So it's going to be 1000 pixels by 500 pixels. Right here, I click on download selected size. It is downloaded. Let me download another one going down. Maybe this, I just select it and I'm going to download the same size. I think these two images will do for now. Going back, I'll just go ahead and select the title. I'm going to give the same title to my image. That is the featured image. So I click on set featured image, upload files, select files. It will go to my downloads folder right here. I select it in order to rename it. I just paste in the title. I've copied, select it, click on open to add it up. It is uploaded. I click on set featured image and I have it right here. I'll go ahead and click on publish and publish again to save my work. It is published. I can view it by right clicking here, open link in a new tab. And I have my blog post right here. Perfect. So similarly, you can use pexels.com to generate your inner images. Let me show you what I mean. So I can go back to my blog post. Maybe under brief explanation of frugal living, I want to add an image and I'll copy the title upon hovering under the title. You see this add block icon, just click on it then select image, media library, upload files, select files. So I'll use the second image I downloaded. I enter in the title. The image is uploaded. I click on select and I have it right here. Take note, adding images onto your blog post also helps to increase SEO. I click on updates. Now let's take a look and I have my image right here. Perfect. So that's it on how you can write blog posts using ChatGPT completely for free. Now if you are looking for more tutorials on how to use ChatGPT, make sure you stick around to watch this video on your screen right now. Keep watching and I will see you inside that video.